What is up people, my name is Ruben. Welcome to Strike Back Games. It's another edition of my weekly picks. First pick this week is this guy, because I finally found him. Went to five different targets, finally found this little daredevil guy, and he's pretty awesome. So awesome, I bought two of them. If you can't see, I think you can see. Bought two of them. Awesome. Go try to find this, because I like it so much. Because it's awesome. Okay, first comic book this week is Secret Wars number 4. I've been really liking the Secret Wars series so far. I didn't think I would like it so much. I thought it was just kind of a thing to gather as many people together as you possibly could. Throw it out there and get a bunch of money. And it kind of is that, but there's a lot of thought that went into it. And I'm liking the story, especially the main Secret Wars title. And it's pretty good. Uh, gotta love Doctor Doom. Who doesn't love Doctor Doom? I mean, except all the people we probably torments and tortures and stuff in that area. They probably don't like him. I like him though. The next pick is another Secret Wars tie-in and it's A-Force number two, which apparently got such a good response that in the all new, all different Marvel, it's gonna be an ongoing series. And if you don't know, A-Force is an all women team filled with all the different female heroes from the Marvel Universe. Now this next one is also a Secret Wars tie-in, but it's a new series. And it's Red Skull number one. Now, don't get all bent out of shape. I don't think it's actually about the Red Skull following him around doing evil Nazi things. It's more about the team making sure that he's dead. And that team consists of Magneto, Winter Soldier, and like two other ones, three other ones actually, that I can't remember right now. But it looks pretty interesting, so they're going to be traveling to make sure that the Red Skull is in fact dead, because nobody wants him alive. Because he's just a really terrible person. I might actually be reviewing this one for the channel because I'm pretty interested to see where it goes. Now on the DC Comics, the first pick from them would be Batman Beyond number two. Now this follows the story of Tim Drake, Batman Beyond, still getting used to being the Batman of the future. Now I know you all want Terry McGinnis, we all want Terry McGinnis to be the Batman, but he is dead so I don't think he's coming back, at least not for a little while. But uh, it it does sound weird that Tim Drake is the Batman Beyond, but once you read the first issue, it doesn't feel quite as weird as you think it would be. By the way, you can see the first issue review right here at the link above my head. And the last pick this week is Detective Comics number 42. This story follows Harvey Bullock and the newly assigned Batman Task Force. I guess they help out the new uh, robot Batman chappy Batman thing they got going on, which uh, I, doesn't look as bad now that I got used to it. But I like this story. It follows Harvey Bullock, like I said, and it kind of shows more of the everyday police work in Gotham. And I actually enjoy it. It's pretty good. I think you will too, so give that a read too. So those are my picks for this week, guys, and that's about it. So question or comment, leave them down below, and I'll see you next week.